turn away, turn away, turn away, and God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 3, verse 24. The peril of, uh, the peril of, um, of godlessness. Mark chapter 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Cannot stand. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. I pray that we get good reward in Jesus' name. Iron sharpened iron is what the, um, <clears throat> uh, the the wise man told us in the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-seven, verse seventeen. Iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. But if there is godliness, all those will walk. If there is ungodliness and unrighteousness, then there is danger. To be godless is to be possessed with an evil spirit. And please, don't take it lightly. And that's why I said from the beginning, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. I know we try to look at things and we look at them in the physical and we try to excuse them and we try to give reason. Pay attention to your pastor. To be godless is to be possessed with an evil spirit. And that makes you to be a foolish person. Because you are under the influence and the control of the devil, Satan himself. Foolish people are full of themselves. They take instruction from their corrupt and depraved mind. They take other instruction from the society and from the, and from the world, the perversions of the world. They dishonor and disobey the word of God and the authority of heaven. They are self-willed and blind to the consequences of their actions and their inaction because they are under the control of another spirit. They constitute a generational cause to their posterity and their generation at large. They become a bad example or reference point, bad reference point. People will say, after all, so so and so person did it. What is wrong with it? You become an instrument in the hand of the devil. So and so person did it. What is wrong with it? And uh, they did it without repercussion. You wait until the judgment day. Judgment day is coming. And a thousand years it's like a watch before the Lord, and a watch is like a thousand years. These ungodly people, foolish people, they conspire against their righteous powers. And the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21, that though hands join together, the wicked will not go unpunished. So don't imitate anything bad or evil. And that is why when we have meeting, and I see something is said or a statement is made that is not right. I don't care about who is involved. I stand up and I deal with it right away. Right away. And God will help us in Jesus' name so that none of us will go with wrong notion, wrong idea, wrong doctrine. The doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Uh, the godless walk by sight and not by the Spirit of God. They always think of managers as what is in need for me, the gain from it. No, it's not about the gain. It's about what are you going to give to make it what God really wants it to be. People like that, don't be surprised, they follow false prophets and false teachers. They go out of the church. They go out of the way of knowledge and understanding. They go out of the word of God. They go out of the will of God. They go out into another spirit and the control of another power, agents of darkness becomes their counselor. And uh, they be, you see them manifesting all of those. They align with depraved, de, with, uh, depraved people like themselves. They care less about God. They care less of, about what anybody will say. And you tell them this, they don't care because they are not filled with the spirit of the Lord. Yes, they are religious, but they are carnal. They are religious, but they are lousy. They are religious, but they are deceitful. They are religious, but they are disloyal. They keep not the marriage covenant. On your wedding day, you say, I will love her. You say, I will submit to him. Are you still keeping all of those right now? Don't be a liar. 
Don't be an agent of darkness. Don't be carnal. Don't be ungodly in the way you do anything. Marriage is not a contract that, okay, we agree to discontinue it. It is a covenant and it stands forever. And I pray God will give us the grace in Jesus' name. You see, ungodly people, carnal people, unrighteous people, uh, they, they, they don't care about peace. And when there is a problem, a real child of God, even someone who is not your spouse, there is a misunderstanding between the two of you, you want to resolve it. Am I right? You want to get it settled. Am I right? Because you will say to yourself, I don't want to go to bed with unresolved issue. But these ungodly people, they can keep malice. These ungodly people, they make bitterness their firstborn or their first daughter. They make hatred. Somebody offended in your family, they keep it all through eternity. They have not the mind of Christ. They have not the spirit of Christ. They are ungodly. They are, uh, they, they are sensual. They are carnal. They need help. And God will help them in Jesus' name. Amen. And you see people like that, they are greedy of gain. Money. Everything is about money, money, money. Either they do it directly or indirectly. They are immoral. Immoral. You are married as a man. And then when your spouse is not there, you, 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 you are messing up with another lady. And as a lady, when your husband is not there, you are messing up with another man. Is not of God. If your right eye, you know somebody said, uh, the employer is paying my salary and trying to mess up with me. Listen to this. Joseph did not care about what is going to happen. When Delilah, what's the name of you, Potiphar's wife, tried to mess up with David, what did he do? He ran for his life. Run for your life. If that job you don't quit it because you don't want to lose your income. And then they end up firing you. What then will happen to you? Praise the Lord. And I have to put it this way because I know we're told that uh, uh, there are rules, that there are laws in the land and everything, but not all jobs have all those things in place. Not all jobs. And you know that this is Mr. Satan coming your way. Mrs. Delilah coming your way. And then you stand down there and then you are laughing. You will laugh yourself to hell if you don't repent. Make right your way right now. Do something about it and get a better result for your life and family in Jesus' name. Even if you have to suffer for righteousness, suffer for it. God will make ways for you. God will deliver you. God will set you free. God will help you out. But you say, well, I don't want my family to suffer. Ah, your family, you will rose in hellfire. In hellfire. So, watch it. And be prayerful. People like that, they try to work with people that think like them. That talk like them that act like them. They look for other religious people like them, not righteous people. And then they communicate together. The Lord will work things out for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me finally wrap it up as I get to the final point. Amen. I am fully loaded today. Praise God. But because some of you have to travel a lot, I have to. Let me downsize a little bit. The power of godliness in a spirit-controlled family. There is power. Somebody say power. There is power in the name of the Lord. There is power in the blood of Jesus. And the power is still potent today. And God said, Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 30. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Somebody say dominion. Over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Verse 28. Shall we all read it together? One to go. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. 
and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise the Lord. And God bless them. You are blessed. Your spouse is blessed. Your children are blessed. All of us together, we are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. God said there is dominion. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be my witnesses. Please pay attention here. This is not only about evangelism. Yes, evangelism, but beyond evangelism. When you live your life and your family in such a way that honors and glorifies God, you are a witness of God. The witness of the provisions of God, the witness of the power of God, the witness of the purity of God, the witness of the purpose and the plan of God for creating marriage. The power to be a witness is there for us. Don't just live a careless life, a nonchalant life, a godless life, and then you say, I'm a worker in the church. Drop the work, my brother. Drop the work, my sister. Fix your life. And God will fix you up in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I'll come back in the, come back in the minute. So, what is the power? We have the power for peace, for purity, and for power, for extraordinary exploit in our family. The power is there. Then, we have a clear-cut demonstration of the fruit of the Spirit when we are Spirit-controlled by the Lord. Then we have victory over the flesh and over foolishness. I told you, a godless person is a foolish person because the person lacks understanding. Not that alone, you have dominion over the forces and the powers of darkness. And the Bible says, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Now, look at what the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm. Psalm 112, verses 1 to 4. It says, the children shall be mighty and mightily blessed upon the earth. Let me read it for you. He said, he sees, sorry, he said, praise the Lord. Blessed is a man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth and in an amen. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Unto the upright, look at it, the upright, the righteous, the blessing. Unto the upright, there ariseth light in the darkness. I need an amen. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. And so, when you are godly, there is a lot to enjoy. The presence of God, the love of God, the power of God will be there. And then you have love in your family, peace in your family, joy in your family. And then there will be progress in the family. God is honored and glorified to your family. And then your prayers are answered. I say your prayers are answered. And finally, finally, you'll be a generational blessing. I say you'll be a generational blessing. But then, you know, I told you, the Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power right upon your feet. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. There is power. Power in the blood. There is mighty power, wonder-working power, power in the blood. Sing it again, let me hear you. There is power. In the name of the Lord, in the blood of the Lord, there is power. Power in the word of God. Power to break yokes and loose bands, there is power. 
power to turn things around and glorify the name of the Lord. Sing it for the last time and let me hear heaven sing with you. Hallelujah, there is power, power in the blood. There is a mighty power, wonder-walking power, power in All eyes closed, all eyes closed. The first thing you want to do is to examine yourself. If there is still the nature of Adam, if there is still the influence of Satan, whatsoever it may be, the power of the Lord is available to crush, to destroy, to dismantle every work of the devil in your life. Why don't you begin by repenting and saying, Lord, I am sorry for whatsoever way I have been carnal, whatsoever way I have been ungodly, unrighteous, impure, unholy, in the way and manner I have done things and lived my life. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, it must begin with humility. It must begin with repentance. Willingness and readiness to make it right. It must begin with you, it must begin with me. The exploit of a spirit control family, the exploit of a spirit control couple, the exploit of a spirit control husband, the exploit of a spirit control wife, the exploit of a spirit control children. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart today. Try me, O oh Lord, and know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be any wicked way in me. Tell the Lord, Holy Ghost, revival begins from you. Start revival now and start the work with me. Start the work with me. Start the work with me. And they will do it in the name of the Lord. You said it's the force and the powers of darkness. No, the power of God is greater and mightier and powerful. He's mighty to save. He's mighty to save. He's mighty to deliver. Repent of your wickedness. We repent of your carnality. Repent of your selfishness and self-centeredness. Repent of all the evil that you have done. Repent of all the bad contributions you have made to make the family not worthwhile, not God honoring, not God glorifying. Let us begin from the right place, the place of humility, the place of repentance, the place of calling upon the Lord. You have oppressed your spouse. You have intimidated your spouse. You have denied your spouse. You, 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 you have thrown your spouse outside. You have killed the spirit of your spouse. Repent right now. And tell the Lord, I will go to my spouse, like the prodigal son. And I will say unto my father, Father, I have sinned before heaven and before you. And then you go to your spouse and then you apologize. You go to your spouse and you communicate. You go to your spouse, you resolve together. Say, Lord, I am ready to obey. I am ready to obey your word. I'm ready to obey your word. You don't pattern your life after anybody. 
after any man, after any woman, after any pastor's wife, after any pastor, after any leader in the church that is not living right, that is not doing the right thing, that is not honoring and glorifying the name of the Lord. For many have not the fear of the Lord. The Bible says, many have not the spirit of the Lord. Why will you be an agent of darkness? Why will you be a representative of the devil? Tell the Lord, I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. All the hypocrisy, all the secrecy, all the things you are doing behind. I surrender all. All the stubbornness, all the headiness, all, all, all the stiffness of the neck. I surrender all. All the conspiracy against my spouse, I surrender all. All the evil talking and the, the daggering of my spouse, I surrender all. Oh Lord, forgive me, tell the Lord. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. You've got to do something to be able to get something. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today thanking you because of this retreat. You sat here with us since Thursday and you have expounded the scripture unto us through different ministers. I want to say thank you. You have unveiled unto us the things we need to do. Normal things, natural things. You have made us to know our mistakes and errors. And we appreciate that. And you have also made us to know where we have not been spiritual. Where we have been carnal. Where we have been foolish. Where we have unconsciously or, or consciously serving as agents of darkness. And today we come in the name of the Lord Jesus, with the power and the authority of heaven against the works of the enemy, against carnality, against sensual, uh, sensuality, against iniquity, transgression, against wickedness against one another, against worldliness in any way or form. Father, we repent of everything today and confess them in Jesus' name. Forgive everyone, O Lord, that is genuinely repenting, willing and ready to obey you. The songwriter says, I am ready to obey thy word, O Lord. Father, the grace to be obedient, so as to be beneficiaries of your blessing, given unto us in Jesus' name. And so, Father, the grace to take the next steps, to go to our spouses, to make things right, to do things right, give unto us also in Jesus' name. And where the enemy has crept in on our way to distort, to distract, to discourage, to destroy, and to keep, we come against the enemy. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness in high places. Satan, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord is against you. The Lord is against you. In every life, in every home, in every family, where you have been operating, in any way or form, I command right now, Pack your load and get out in Jesus' name. Every work of the devil, every power of darkness, in any life, in every life, I command right now, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Homes and families that are divided, I command right now, the power of the Lord will reunite you together in Jesus' name. Every situation that looks like dry bones, 
that are dead, that are dried, and the sinews are out, and it's completely hopeless. I declare today, in the name of Jesus, let there be life in Jesus' name. Let there be life in Jesus' name. Let life return back to such family to such homes in the name of Jesus I command and decree where sickness, affliction, oppression torment has taken over because of the plan of the enemy, the path of darkness the agents of darkness I command right now that the fire of the Lord will dismantle every work of the devil in every life now in Jesus name our homes and families will be peaceful our homes and family will be joyful. Our homes and family will be happy. Our homes and family will honor the Lord. We serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. And all the children that are scattered because of the problem with father and mother. Oh Lord, oh God, we pray you will go after them. You will rescue them. You will deliver them. You will bring them back to yourself in Jesus' name. Oh, Father in heaven, King of glory, they say, they say they are Christian. They say they are Christian. Look at them. Look at them. The devil wants us to become a, a shame to the world. We come right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for your word says that your people will not be put to shame. Father, every Christian home, in our church will be redeemed by the power of the Lord in Jesus name anything everything that makes the devil to be looking down on us uh, making fun of us uh, eradicate them all in Jesus name heal your people heal our families heal our finances heal our body heal our church heal our children Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray.